Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. As promised today, we're going to take a closer look at the Otley Chevin Classic. If you've not seen the vlog from the race, make sure you go over to my channel and watch that. While you're there, why not hit that subscribe button? You know you want to. In this video, we're going to be discussing the course, how fast it was, looking at the power numbers and what I could have done better. So starting with the course, so this is a town centre criterium. The first thing to note is that Leeds City Council have clearly been scrimping on the road maintenance. The road surface was awful in places and there were potholes everywhere. Uh, and that's on top of the usual obstacles you get on a normal roads like manhole covers and drains and etc. So the course is around two kilometres. Um, Right from the start, you're through a chicane and then straight into a steep kicker. After, the, after this, it drags on for quite a while through a double left-hander and then it heads along Bird's Cage Walk, um, which has like a couple of rollers. After that, you turn left, back down into the town centre and this is a super fast ascent where you're hitting speeds of about 42 or 43 miles an hour into the final left-hander and a short run into the finish line. So as you can see, positioning is uh, crucial around this course and it starts even before the flag drops. To get a good position, you need to be lining up probably about 20 minutes before the start of the race. Then it's a bit of a scrum to get lined up in a good position. As you can see, um, I've managed to get up near the front. Um, I think I'm like in row three here. Yeah, I can throw it row three. Um, but what you can't see is behind me, there's probably about six or seven rows of people lined up. Um, so yeah, because there's like over, I think it's over 80 people in the race. All right, and uh, here we go. Uh, so yeah, as you can see, I did not get a great like start. So um, I didn't manage to get clipped in and yeah, I think the row behind me all managed to get past me. So I've already lost about 10 places. Um, and you see like straight into this uh, steep, steep climb and already hitting yeah, nine, like over 900 watts um, sustained up here, just holding position. I'm not even moving up um, at all. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a not a great way to start this race. As I say, like we lined up like 20 minutes before, so my legs are like a little bit cold and yeah, you're straight into this really tough effort. Um, and then, yeah, now it's a kind of case of trying to like move up as much as possible. Um, I'm up here trying to get past uh, my, uh, my teammate, Holloway, um, the eighth kind of, yeah, I don't think he knows I'm there and um, puts me into the uh, into the curb a little bit, but it's not his fault, more my fault trying to trying for trying to get through a gap that doesn't really exist. But yeah, you can see it's just completely spread wide across the, uh, the 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 road. There's literally no space to move through at all. Um, but yeah, managed to get up the uh, the first kind of ramp in the group. Um, but yeah, like my heart rate's like already hitting like 170, which is uh, pretty high for me. So yeah, like, like what, what were my goals for this race? So my goals for this race were just to kind of kind of stick with the front of the race. Um, I did this race last year, and um, yeah, I didn't I got dropped after I think it was like two or three laps, um, and um, yeah, that was it. I didn't didn't see the front didn't see the front of the race again um, until they came and lapped me uh, towards the end of the race. And I think yeah, with like I think they lapped me with two laps to go. Um, so that was my my day done. So yeah, my aim for this race is just to stay with this front group. Um, I don't want to get lapped at all. That's that's I want to I want to finish the race. Um, so yeah, it's just all about so yeah. So just all I'm trying to do is hold position, move up where I can, um, and yeah, just keep my uh, keep my powder dry. So yeah, that's the end of uh, lap one, um, and yeah, straight back into this hill again. Um, yeah, straight up to like eight, nine hundred watts. But now actually, yeah, nearly pushing a thousand watts at the top of this. Just like I'm not even, yeah, I'm not moving up at all. I'm just holding position, um, and yeah. This, as I was say that this is this, this this course is not built for it's not great for uh, people like me. And you can see the um, the front of the race is what maybe 30, 40 meters up ahead of me, um, and it kind of yeah. I think that's the thing with this lap, this this course. It just kind of every single lap it just strings out up that hill because it's only like two or three. You only go two or three wide through the uh, the chicane, so then you're really just kind of trying to hold position there but then it all slows down on this kind of drag and bunches back up again um, but it's very hard to kind of pick a line through like unless I'm doing unless I do like six seven hundred watts which is just 
yeah, ridiculous. So, um, yeah, I'm not going to find a way through. So what I was trying to do was hopefully kind of push on a little bit over the top um, and see if I can kind of like dive bomb these corners. But, yeah, it's, again, it's just, there's no way through at all. Um, so, yes, yeah, it's, it's just a really spiky power at the moment, which is not how I like to ride things. Usually I like to kind of keep things at, like, 350 400 consistently but here i'm keep having to like spike up the power then i was off the power then spike it back up again um and that for me is just not like i, I it wears me out much more quickly i'd rather kind of keep a nice consistent power for a long period of time um but yeah the race is definitely on at this moment in time um yeah i'm like i thinking back i think i was around about halfway through the pack so probably about 40 50 people in front of me and about 40 50 people behind me um so yeah i'm, I'm in a good position but as you see like there's a bit of space ahead of me i really should be on the wheel um rather kind of, rather than kind of sitting way back here but i'm just trying to get as much recovery as possible um yeah because I, I kind of know as well with this kind of course it, it is isn't much it strings out then you kind of hit a rise and it slows down a little bit everyone kind of is just that kind of accordion kind of like um uh, effect that kind of happens with like every corner and stuff so yeah i'm aware of that i know there's a lot of people behind me so even if i'm dropping the wheel a little bit i know that i'm not going to get kind of dropped from the group yeah back in back into this downhill um and sprinting downhill at like over a thousand watts um is just mental um and yeah like hitting speeds of like 42 yeah 22 miles an hour here um uh, into a yeah tight kind of well like a tight left-hander um is 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 yeah it's just mental and you can see this is the road furniture and the well the road surface is just absolutely terrible so getting your line round here is uh yeah getting it right is very very important and just like that we're back into the uh the chicane and the hill um and yeah the first kind of two times round i tried to kind of stick to the inside of the of the uh the track um of the course and um yeah i think what I try to do in usually in races is try and work out the kind of most kind of efficient way around the course. Try to learn how other people are taking things, where's the kind of best place to kind of move up. Um, so yeah, the first two laps I tried to move up on the inside here and basically didn't really find any uh, kind of any yeah didn't, wasn't really able to move up any places. So uh, on this time round, I decided to kind of try and move up on the uh, on the right hand side and um, see if I can get any uh, a bit more. Um, success but um yeah as you can see it's just it's completely like blocked across the roads and uh unless you're someone like tom cullen here is able to kind of move up in the middle um yeah i i just I, this is not something i can do not with not not being so big moving up on a hill is just not something i should do because i advise it if i i'll probably hit if i was going to move up on the hill i'd probably have to push like maybe 700 watts or something and then by the time we get like 50 meters down the road i'll be our people will become flying past me because I've just gone way over into the red. So yeah, like really in races like this, you want to be using as little energy as possible to move up. Um, if not, you're just trying to hide, kind of hold position. So yeah, in an ideal world, um, I'll be kind of using this section um, on the kind of back side of the course to uh, to yeah to try and move up. It's a little bit more. Sometimes there's a little bit more space here, and you can try to kind of move around on the outsides. Um, but I was really having to use in that kind of the first few laps. I was really having to use this kind of time to kind of recover as much as possible, get my heart rate down. Um, yeah, just kind of freewheel as much as possible, and the kind of like it's, it's a bit rolling here, so you can kind of freewheel a little bit in the wheels. Um, um, but yeah, I was just trying to use this much as much time as possible to kind of yeah to recover. Um, and but yeah, this is when this is the moment where it really kind of kicked off. Um, and yeah, people at the start of I think um, this where the guys who end up winning Adam Duggleby kicked um, and tried to like just line it out as much as possible. And then at the bottom of the hill, unfortunately, I think someone uh, clipped the pedal in the corner trying to chase on at the front um, and came off. I've uh, been taking out a couple of other people and I was kind of like held out, held up a little bit, which just for me is right at the wrong moment because I've then had to like, 
I'm not carrying the speed into the bottom of the hills. I've had to kick um, through the kind of like start finish line, um, try and stay in the wheel, um, and then yeah, you're straight into this hill, which is just yeah, it was an absolute killer. I, it was, I was so close to getting dropped here. Um, it's unbelievable. This and the race is fully on at the front, like. Before, like here on this hill, it would slow down a little bit um, and it would all bunch up. But today um, on this lap, it was just full, full gone. You can see it in front, it's just like people are losing the wheel. I'm losing the wheel. I don't think I've just talked, like Ollie here is one of my uh, club mates. I just said to him, like, get that wheel, get in there. Because like I was struggling. Um, and yeah, he managed to kind of pull us back to this uh, this group ahead of us. Um, massive math effort yeah thanks ollie because uh, i think after, just after that effort he uh he dropped off um but yeah i've managed to managed to get myself back into the group but yeah the route the race is fully fully on and i think yeah like what well, it has been for the full the first 10 minutes i think first 10 minutes looking at uh, training peaks i had a normalized power of uh, just shy of 400 watts an average power of just shy of 350 and an average heart rate of 167 so shows why I am absolutely struggling to hold the wheel here um, I am well and truly gassed but like as I said my goal was to try and stick with that front group so I'm doing absolutely everything in my power to kind of stay with them um, and yeah at the moment I'm just feel my fingers crossed that there's enough people behind me that I can get a bit of recovery but still stay in the group um but yeah it's it is is very tough i think i think there's still probably about 10 maybe 10 10 or so people still behind me so i haven't yet been dropped but um it it i'll tell you right now it was touch and go whether i would uh, be able to recover enough to kind of stay in this group yeah, so if you can remember from the, the three previous laps, at this point it was kind of spread across the road and um, yeah, I was able to kind of freewheel in the wheels, but this lap it is lined out like hell and like I'm fully on the gas here trying to kind of hold that wheel. So, uh, so crossing the start finish line again and I think there's only like maybe 50, 60 guys left in the race, so already like 30 guys already out the back. And I think at that point I was sitting pretty much the last man in the group. And uh, yeah, there's gaps open up ahead of me and I need to close these now. Like if I'm going to succeed in the goal or sticking with that front group, I need to be moving up and I need to be getting towards the front of the race. So yeah, it was, I am literally at max effort here and I was genuinely thinking I am about to get dropped now and uh, that's it it's game over um, but one thing to always remember in races like this is that around about 14 or 15 minutes um, it slows down like every race like the first 15 minutes are just flat out um, and then if you can manage to get to like 15 minutes then you'll get to the end um so even if you're going way over at the beginning like if you can manage 15 minutes like i say look right now just ticked over 14 minutes and it's completely gone the gas has gone out of the group and i'm able to kind of roll back in what i should have done here is just keep rolling through the group because everyone's sat up i should be trying to like i should have pushed and used a little bit more energy just to get up to the front of the group and I think that was my only opportunity here because now I'm like pretty much near the back of the group and this is where I'm going to be for pretty much the rest of the race. So skipping forward to um, yeah just over two laps to go and I've pretty much been hanging around the kind of back end of this bunch I think there's about 50 guys left here um, and see so yeah, I've been sitting around about 40th wheel or so um, for, for, for most of it just kind of holding position um, hasn't been as hard as it was kind of like in the first part of the race um, yeah I think my heart rate's come down to like 160 kind of average compared to like 170 for the kind of first seven, uh, 15 minutes or so and um coming through here um it's now i've kind of decided i'm going to kind of switch back on and i think i've found a, a line that kind of would help me get towards the front so yeah using um the outside here i've been noticing a lot more people being able to kind of move up um and get up to near the front so um yeah i'm going to kind of try and follow it through here um and see if i can get get some success myself so yeah i'm going to try and uh, yeah move up here on the right um and 
yeah, I seem to be getting a little bit more success. But as I do, um, I feel like I should have just kind of gone through that gap there and and like yeah, got round these people. Um, so now I'm like stuck out on the uh, on the right hand side. But then when as uh, Tom uh, attacks. The bunch moves over to the right, and I'm kind of pinned against this uh, curb. And I actually clipped um, my pedal on the curb, and um, yeah, that wasn't fun because I thought, uh, yeah, I might go down. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm I'm much further up than I was, and um, which is yeah, we've what just uh, a lap and a half to go, just over a lap and a half to go. I mean now. Finally, uh, it's taking me all race, taking me thirty minutes. I'm in a decent position. Um, up near the front um yeah potentially kind of yeah might be able to i think there's like two two off the front so we yeah we're chasing for third for uh yeah so we're racing here for third i don't think those uh, two off the front are going to come back but yeah i just didn't keep on the gas i just did what i've been doing on the rest of the uh, the laps and here i really should have kept on the gas stuck with the yeah uh, the guys at the front but instead I'm trying to use. I'm using this bit to kind of recover, like I have for the rest of the, the rest of the race, and I just end up drifting back in the group. And before I know it, I'm back, um, yeah, sitting like maybe 30th, 40th wheel. Um, yeah, when all that kind of hard work of moving up has basically come to nothing. So now on to the uh, final lap, and I've decided to try and do the same thing again, and hopefully this time have a little bit more success. So yeah. Lining myself up on the uh, the right hand side of the bunch up this hill, and then yeah, I'm gonna try and go around the bunch on that right side. But um, as I do, I think everyone pretty much seems to be having that. Well, half the bunch seems to be having that same idea, and um, yeah, just no space to move up. But again, there is space there. I can see it there now, but I just didn't take it. And again, I'm just kind of pushed up here against this uh, this right hand side. Um, and there's just, there's, there's, there's no space. I'm still what fighting now for like 40 or 50th wheel, and it's just that's the pointless. So um, I decided to kind of call it. I just um, yeah. I think last year there was a massive crash on the final lap um, with like yeah maybe 10, 15 guys that went down. And um, having crashed earlier in the uh, the year, I decided to just call it quits. Like I just knew I just didn't have it to kind of move up and and hold position. And it's just only going to get harder and faster towards the end of the race. So, yeah, I decided to sit up and just uh, roll around. I succeeded with my goal. My goal was to just be there at the end and not get lapped. And, um, yeah, I feel, yeah, I'm, I'm really happy with uh, my performance and where my fitness is. Could I have done better? Possibly. But, like, yeah, I went... If I didn't do that, where was I going to recover? And if I didn't use the kind of this straight here to like to sit up and recover, then potentially I would have been dropped on the hill one on one of those laps, especially that fourth lap where it was just absolutely full gas. Um, yeah, I probably would have been out the back um, even sooner. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.